Hello everyone, hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with a new video. This video is all about a very important soft in the CCTV industry. This is a very important VMS. So we are discussing about Sensei software for computer. So in this video, we are going to discuss that what is Sensei software for computer and what are its feature and after that we will demonstrate you we will, we will discuss that how you download it and then how you install it and finally how you configure them to make a camera live so keep watching till end please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are new one our first thing to discuss is what is sensei software or what is sensei of cms Sensei company has designed the application to connect the CCTV cameras on PC. This CMS additionally assists to control the camera from a remote location as well. If we are discussing about this feature, almost like all other CMS means that it will detect motion detection, alarm notification, video playback facility, real-time monitoring, snapshot, record audio and video and many more. So now let's discuss our practical part. It means in this now we are going to show you that how you don't download and how you install and, and how you configure them. So first thing you should do that you, you should open your Google Chrome browser and you have to search for Sensei Home on computer and when you search you find a website top of the list just open that website and click on download for windows when you click on download for windows it will start downloading and it is a it is almost 200 MB file so it will take time to download once it is download we will discuss that how you install it and how you configure them and to make a camera live so keep downloading Just click on the dot button here and go to the download page. Here you found your downloaded file. Just right click on the downloaded file and click extract. When you click on extract after extraction you get the same file name in a folder. Just open that folder. Here you find your dot application file or .exe file or installer just right click on the installer and click as run as administrator and click on yes now 
click next again click next now click on install now it will take time to complete the installation once it is successfully installed you will get a successful notification now click on next now click on finish when you click on finish you get the here you find the software just double click on that click on yes now again it will take time to completely give the home screen now it will ask for a super user so you can you create a super user and here you should also give password please note that password is alpha numeric and click enable auto login when you click on enable auto login and click register so you won't enter username password again and again so so please so please tick this enable auto login and click on register when you click on register again it will take time to give you a home screen or a software interface so just wait for a few second This is your control panel. Then this is the home screen of the software. First thing you should do that you should customize your modules. Just click on module customization. Whatever you want, main view, remote, be playback. You don't need access control and alarm, video wall, e map, face picture and comparison, and is all or the ai feature so i only only need this this thing okay so just click on okay when you click on okay these are the views which which you so which you will enable on the home home screen now after that just click on the first thing you should do you should click on the device management just click on the device management and here you find that your nvr is auto automatically detected here you find everything okay and the main concern is that your laptop and your nvr or your ip device is connected to the same network means it is connected to the same router once it is connected to the same network it will auto bit automatically detect like this okay and now after that you should just click here plus add to client okay you should click on this add to client option so let's click okay now you find that my ip address and my port is automatically filled so what what i should do is just put any nickname here like test device or whatever i want and after that here it asks for a username password please note down that this is the username of the device means nvr dvr or ip camera whatever you are adding 
हेयर द पीपर आस मे लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन कमेंट सेक्शन दैट वट इज द यूजर नेम वट वट वी शुड इंटर हेयर सो अगेन यू शुड इंटर द यूजर नेम ऑफ द एन वी आर ओके सो आई दस इंटर यूजर नेम ऑफ माई एन वी आर एंड हेयर अगेन आई नीड टू इंटर अ पासवर्ड ऑफ माई एन वी आर ओके now click add when i click add you find that my device is added here now go to the again control panel and click the main view and just open your main view and here you find your ip camera live okay and you double click it it will show you like that and the another way of adding this is that again go to device management and delete this okay the first method i tell you is that when you are connected to on a same network and if you want to add your nvr from a remote location you just click on this add and with, when you click on this add here that let a lot of option in come from cloud p2p serial port ip server hid dns batch info so if you are connecting your nvr or an or a ip device from a remote location so definitely you should go for cloud p2p when you group or by using hid dns when i when i use when I, you use this option you should enter here a device domain name which you find in your nvr network option okay so you should enable hid dns for there and another method of adding using a static ip is that you just click on this ip domain and after that you should click on any nickname just like i use this device now after that i should enter my ip address so again click on the plus add and click on this this device if you are using static ip you should enter here static ip in my case i use my local ip so i just use this and again here i should enter my username and here i should enter my password and click add when you click and add here you find the notification input in success success succeeded and again go to the control panel and main view and here you find your camera so this is all about the software so please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are new one thank you have a nice day